as I talked about with my NBA 2K21 video. Um, since I don't have a next-gen console, I'm not buying the newest iterations of the games. But this is Thor Bjorn Gunnarsson. That is the player I'm going to be playing in career. He is a center from Norway. He's number 25, which is my favorite number. And he's left-handed, just like I am, and he is also 6 foot 3 and 225 pounds, just like I am. A fighter, I will make him sometimes be a fighter. So those are his details there. Then let's move to appearance. I'm going to adjust his head. Actually, I think that looks okay. Um, you know, I think that all looks okay, actually. Um, that looks a little ridiculous, but that's okay. Um, equipment and everything, he's all powered out. Um, presentation. What celly do we have? The default, that's not okay. He needs a good celly. Um, what's this? The swipe, that's a good one. Unleash. Salute. Uh, dancing, what's this one? No, I don't like that. Marching band. No, I don't like that. Toss it. Uh, what's it off the back? No, let's toss it. I'm assuming you just... Yeah, I like that. Just fling the stick. That's that's a good one. Behavior. Shot style. Shot style one. How many are there? There's 20. Let's go to 11. See if that's any good. I don't know if I like 11. 12. Mm. 13. I like 13. Let's go to, let's see what one timer 13 looks like. Boom. Okay, we'll take both of those. Uh, skating style. Oh, I'm not even going to mess with this. I'm just going to leave it all at 50. Leave all of that at 50. Continue. Save. Okay. Archetype. Okay. Sniper. Playmaker. Power. Two-way. Grinder. Enforcer. I think. Sniper. I want to be a sniper. Start in Europe, start in the NHL. Start in Europe, start in the NHL. Start. I'm going to start in the Memorial Cup and uh, WHL. I already know where I'm going. And you guys should know where I'm going to. The Portland Winter Hawks. A team that I actually follow. Okay, be a pro settings, be a pro settings, medium difficulty pro, semi pro, rookie, superstar, all star. I'm gonna set this to all star. Okay, but everything else I'm going to leave alone and let's start our career with the Portland Winter Hawks in the Memorial Cup. The only disappointing thing, really, is that they don't allow you to play through an entire minor league season anymore like they used to. They try and get you right into the NHL as quickly as possible, which I understand, but at the same time, I wish that I would be able to just go and play an entire season 
I always thought that was fun. Okay, skill tree. Let's see, do I have any points? Do I have two points? I'm gonna get marksman. Because I want to go accuracy over power. And then I'm gonna go here, wrist shot accuracy. Because I'm gonna go over shots in lieu of uh, slap shots. Okay, and then here I, I want... I definitely want long range shooting, so I'm gonna purchase that and equip it into my first slot. Okay, so I'm already getting set up to be a good shooter, but I have a conversation with my agent here coming up. Hey, Thorbjorn, you're on the verge of being drafted into the NHL. Where you get drafted depends on how well you do in this tournament, so go out there and impress the scouts with your skills. I think you can go first overall. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go neutral. Cool. Let's end the conversation and go play this game. Yeah, the only problem with going high in this draft is it basically means you get drafted to, like, Sabres or the Kings, right? Yeah, I'm going star only. Getting drafted overall is my first priority. Okay, I failed my persuasion, so that's good. Uh, score one point in the next game, and then I'll get a plus 25 brand score. I think that is certainly doable. Oh my god, okay, new challenge. Alright, send to next game. Hopefully there's no more conversations. Ray Ferraro is in there talking about, I don't know, something or rather. Let's, let's just get in there and let's score some points. We are wearing our red jerseys, which is apparently the aways in this game, but... In actuality, Portland wears the red at home. I was just at a Winterhawks game about a week ago now. And yeah, they definitely wore those red jerseys at home. So I'm not sure why they have that set this way in this game, but oh well. Alright, we're going to take this draw here and we lose our first draw. But I'm going down the ice. Oh, they're on the power play, okay. So I'm getting some penalty kill time, that's interesting. As a sniper. Oh, I'm going to light this guy up. I missed, but that's alright, I'll get the puck. And he's off sides. So even though I didn't have great placement there with my pass, he took it off sides anyway, but maybe we could redeem ourselves and get a win there. We did not. I got stick lifted. Okay, that's good goalie. We can have a big stomp there. Alright. Nice pass going nowhere. Oh, a lot of traffic in front, and I'm going for it over the side, but he is not passing it over to me. So, this is going to be outdated information by the time this video comes out, because I'm going to be posting this video on November 1st, but I'm recording it on October 26th. So, it'll be outdated by the time this comes out, but, uh, just got done watching the Golden Knights versus the Avalanche. Um, that was a much needed game. Vegas has had a really rough start to this season. Um, the team has been riddled, absolutely riddled with injuries. Um, Mark Stone got hurt, Max Pacioretty got hurt, Alec Martinez got hurt. Alec Duck has been injured since before the season. Uh, then Zach Whitecloud got hurt. Um, they just today announced that Max Pacioretty is getting placed on LTIR. And then as soon as the LTIR got announced, now people are saying that 
Jack Eichel to Vegas is becoming a real possibility, which I have mixed feelings about, honestly. Um, but if that trade does end up happening, I'll definitely make a video about it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a video about the Eichel trade, regardless of where he ends up. If it if it does end up happening this year, or so. But especially if he gets traded to the Golden Knights, I'll I'll have quite a bit to say about that. I'm sure. Um, but yeah, just uh, to, you know. To, rough start with all the injuries, but that, that game against Colorado was sorely, sorely needed. 3-1 um, victory, and the guys, you could definitely tell, like, the energy was good at the end of the game. Um, Robin Leonard has been playing absolutely fantastic this season, um, which, you know, for the, the team, that just lost flurry, like especially with the the fan base kind of being rough towards Leonard after the trade. Um, it's really nice to see him doing well. Um, some interesting storylines around the NHL. The Sabers came up to a pretty impressive start to their season. Um, I actually thought the I think they they started. I think they started 3-0, the Sabres did. 3-0-0, uh, rather, no overtime losses, no losses. Three wins, uh, which I think is like one of the better starts in Sabres franchise history. And just as I predicted, the Kraken actually do look pretty decent. Um, they almost beat Vegas in their first regular season game in franchise history, um, but uh, they, they came back, Vegas opened the game 3-0, to zero, but then uh, the Kraken clawed their way back up and equaled the game at 3-3 in the third period, but then uh, Chandler Stevenson got the winning goal. Uh, to, to, for the Knights to win 4-3, and the Kraken have actually looked pretty solid uh, so far this season. Um, I think they they beat Montreal today, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the last I checked, it was 2-1 uh, towards the end of the third period, but I'm not sure if that score ended up holding or not. Let me double check real quick while there's a lull in the action. Wow. So the Kraken actually won 5-1 to one against the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, I think the Kraken are now 3-1. and one. Let me pause really quick and check. Um, the Kraken are 2-4-1. and one. So not really that bad. Um... And like I, I predicted at the beginning of the season, I actually thought they would be decent, um, just because, especially because their their goalie and defense is really good, and they play a really like fast, hard checking brand of hockey. Like uh, the Kraken are basically always four checking. Um, they never like give you any room to breathe. The second the other team has the puck, they're all over them and. They have a lot of speed on that team, which really helps uh, with their, their their style of play. So uh, it's really cool seeing them get off to such a such a hot start, uh, especially you know as a fan of the last expansion team. If the Kraken could produce, you know, even half as good of a story as my Golden Knights did, then. I think that would be really good for the NHL and really good for Seattle and Pacific Northwest sports fans. Even though, you know, I'm a Portland fan and it is in my blood to hate most Seattle sports teams, um, I can't really, you know, hate the Kraken yet. Maybe if they beat the Golden Knights in the playoffs or something like that, I could end up hating them, but for the time being, I do not. And we got the, I'm still trying to get some scoring going on here. This is a, there we got some really good, uh, stealing the puck there. Didn't get 
some board battles. Let's get this puck. Okay. I'm trying to trying to play defensively sound here, even though, you know, it's not my position. Or it's not my uh, archetype, rather. You know. Just because I'm a sniper though doesn't mean I have to be a defensive liability. And I'm kinda taking a long shift here, but I want to get one more whack at it. Alright, so we didn't get anything going there, so I'm gonna go off, let somebody else take their shift. <laughs> Alright, and I think the, I might not play again for the first period. We might be going back into the second, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, wow, in like a minute and a half there, we each team scored a goal, so that's a whole lot of nothing for like 18 minutes and then two goals in like one minute. Okay, nice, almost a, almost a goal there, but kind of a bad angle. Okay, I'm not sure what line I'm on. Is this, is this the second line? All right, I'm gonna pass it over here. That was a bad shot. Oh, almost got uh, almost got something there in front with O'Brien, but he wasn't able to get the shot away before the goalie jumped on top of that puck. Let's take another face-off win. Oh, oh, getting picked. Fling it out of here. Nice. Oh, that was a good shot. That was a really good shot, but it just went a little wide. Okay, good net for a presence there. I think I, I think I stopped. Oh, they have, they still have Joel Hofer on the team, and this one, I, uh, Joel Hofer isn't with the team anymore. I don't think. I think he might be, uh, up in St. Louis's AHL team because uh, when I, uh, when I was at the game last week, uh, it wasn't Hofer in net. It was, um, oh, I forget the guy's name, but it was the, um, it was the, the backup goalie from last season, so, uh, because it was a big game that I went to, I feel like it would have been over if over was still with the team, so, leads me to believe he might be in the AHL with uh, St. Louis, because they are the ones that drafted him, unless they traded him, but I can't imagine why they would have done that. Hofer, uh, Hofer's a guy I'm really excited for in the NHL. I hope he makes it. Oh, oh no. Okay, I, had it. I couldn't get the shot off there. Oh, great. Great play. Great passing play there. And Cross Annis gets the goal. Wow. Yeah, Cross Annis with his first goal in the tournament. Look at this passing play. Hopefully it shows it all, but boom. He just had a, had a little bit of daylight there, and he found his angle, and he put it home. Ooh, as the goalie was sliding across, too. That's a nice goal. That's a really nice goal, and my line is still on the ice. Um, but yeah, so if Cross Annis is on my line, then I am the second line center. So, second line, not bad. Ooh, wide open there, we couldn't get anything. Oh god, laid that guy out. That probably could have been an interference call, and because he didn't have the puck, but I guess we'll see. I gotta light that guy up, and then give me the puck down ice, please. Alright. Oh no. Oh, that was terrible. That was a terrible defensive play right there by our guy. He completely misplayed the puck. And Julian Unkdell puts it home past Hofer right in front of the net. Not much you can really do when it's, you know, in that close. But now I'm going back on the ice. Get it to me down here. Alright, speed past this guy, wide open down there, Oof. and I 
just couldn't get it. The other team had caught up to the play too much by, by the time I got the puck across. This guy's getting lit up. Why is that a power play with a trip? I had an amazing hit. I was going to be wide open down the ice after that hit, and then this guy had to go and trip somebody. Oh, that's terrible. Cross Hannes. Can't be doing that, bud. You've been in this league too long to be making a mistake like that, bud. But all right, we are here. Oh, this guy's wide open. Good, good block. Oh, come right here. I think I can get in. Oh, I almost had it, but at the last minute they took the puck away from me. Nice. Oh, okay, get a little sloppy. Nice, okay, and fling it out. Ah, we, I think we had more behind us than in front of us. I would have preferred to rush down with that, but I understand, you know, the play the fundamentals, play it smart. Okay, good one, good cover, pass out here, good, and fling it down, alright, and I'm hopping off the ice, and I'll probably come back uh, after this power play has expired, but interesting to me that I'm getting uh, penalty kill time at all being a sniper, but um, certainly not going to complain. Oh, I think we hit a perfect backwards hit lined up right there. He just didn't take it. Oh, nice one. Pass it over here. Uh, he didn't want to... He didn't want to risk it. I, uh, I respect it. I respect playing it safe, I suppose. Alright, Gunnarsson. Let's get it, bud. Oh. Alright. What's happening? Up here. Oh, no. Nice. Up here. Get that. I'm gonna light that guy up for sure. I've gotten a few big hits this game. Making, uh, making them feel the impact. You'll feel all 225 pounds of Thor Bjorn coming at him. Oh, why didn't you lay the hit there, bud? Get a perfect angle to, to lay the body, but he just refused to do it. These guys aren't really into the big hitting, I suppose. That's, um, like, obviously in this game, it's not, it doesn't have this facet of the actual WHL, but that's one criticism I've always had of the WHL, is that uh, they don't let the kids fight. Like, they, the, the referees break up the fights pretty much immediately in the WHL, and, like, I guess I kind of get it. They're, like, 15 and 16 years old, so you don't want them just beating the hell out of each other. But at the same time, it's like they have to, they're getting ready to play in the NHL or the AHL or the KHL. Like, that's what they're getting ready for, right? And they're going to be fighting in those leagues. So if they don't know how to do it, if you don't let them learn in the minor league system, they're just going to get hurt and lose a lot once they go pro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but no, that's kind of how I think about it. It's like you have to learn those skills or else you're just going to suck. Give me the puck. There we go. There we go. Cut. I can do a cut. Boom. Oh. Smart shot, but I just didn't get it. But I need to get off the ice. I've been on there for like over a minute. I almost had a goal right there. But the goalie just got over and made the save. 2 2 game. Just a few minutes left in the second period. Okay. Long range shot there. Didn't get anything going there. Oh. Cut, 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 cut. Oh, oh, right there. Oh, trickled out. Oh, I had a wide open net. I just took like a second too long to take 
the shot. If I'd have fired it just a little bit quicker, I could have had a goal right there. Nice, good interception, good use of the stick. Okay. Up here. Oh, okay. Get it in there to 71. Cross Annis nearly had a goal. Could level that guy a little bit. And let's start getting back. I've done a lot of work this shift. Jesus, that should have been a goal. That guy just flung it. I'm wide open. Alright, long shift. I gotta get off, but I almost had that lane. If that guy wasn't there, I would have, I would have been in on net for sure. Alright, 35 seconds left. Let's see if I can get a goal here before the second period ends. And we are in their zone. That's good news. Alright, and we win the puck drop. One-timer doesn't get it, but this guy is getting leveled. I have the puck. No, he has the puck. And I get the assist. Let's go, O'Brien, with the goal. I get the assist after the pass. Let's see. So there I am at the puck. I pass it over to him, and boom, right in the net. Right into the net in the waning seconds of the second period. So we are coming out of intermission with a 3-2 to two lead. And that's exactly the kind of, um, that's exactly the kind of energy, the kind of kick in the pants that we needed. You know, we have all the momentum now coming out of intermission. Okay, good. Get the puck, get the puck. Pass it over here. Okay, are we just skating with it? What are we doing? Why are we just holding it down like this? Let's 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 get a little offense generated there, guys. There we go. I think we're just trying to maintain this lead. Yeah, they're just we're just trying to hold on, okay. Second period comes to an end. Three to two game for the Portland Winterhawks. Um I have one point so far in the game off an assist. Not bad. I would like to get a, to get a goal this game, obviously, but uh, I'm not mad getting the assist. I think I've had a couple good shots this game. Just you know, obviously the luck wasn't there, but I think I've had two or three, uh, you know, good chances. Okay. Here I am. Boom! Whipped over. Uh, nobody was there. I wanted to hit Hannes on the cross seam pass, but he just had gotten there yet, but I get a nice check on that guy. That's a nice skate in with O'Brien. Uh, but the angle doesn't there for me to to get the goal. Let me get that out of there. Okay, 15 doesn't want to give me the puck. He just and sends her on the boards even though I was wide open. I lay him out. Yeah, then he covers it. I think we could add a goal there, but the play kind of broke down a little bit, especially uh, not hitting me on that stretch pass when I was wide open. I'm not sure what that was all about. All right. Oh, that was that could have been ugly. Hofer makes a makes a big stop right there. That guy was basically wide open. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure our defense must have broke down or something. And coach is gonna coach is gonna ask me to up the ante and continue to pressure. So I'm gonna go out here and try and score a goal on this shift. And see if I can get it done for coach. Put your faith in me, coach. I got you. Oof, that's bad. Okay. Nice, not bad. Give me the puck up here. And then I go here and turn on the jets. Oh, cut. Boom. No, oh, I could have had it. I thought it just fired a second earlier there, but big hit along the boards. I got that going at least. I've definitely thrown a lot of good hits this game. Oh, that was wide open right there. I'm not sure why I didn't pass when I called for it. There we go. Uh, back 
backhand shot doesn't go anywhere, but I had lost the angle by the time I was getting in closer to goal. I don't, he let himself just get into a board battle there, I'm not sure why. Alright, I'm wide open. Oh, a shot for the rebound, but nothing happened. The, the, when I'm calling for the pass, there's like a couple seconds of hesitation before they actually fling it to me. I'm not sure why. The, the, the fact that usually doesn't happen, but taking down 13 minutes left in the third period. We still have a one goal lead. And for some reason, we're just skating around the neutral zone instead of keeping up the, pre the, the pressure. I'm not sure what's going on there. Get a nice poke check. That was good. Oof, they get it back. All right, we got it. We got it. We're running. Give me the puck up here. Oh, the one-timer. But turned away. Side. Let's see. Boom. Yep. Go 
goes across to try and catch it, but he can't catch it. I toss the stick. But anyways, like I'm, like I was saying, um, you have to question, you know, um, the player leadership, Dave, Kane, all those guys. Like, what did they know? What did they not know? What did they participate in? Things like that. And it's just a really messy situation. And I hope everything gets resolved and that the victim is able to find some peace in this whole situation. You know, whatever that may look like for them. Just really, really crappy, unfortunate, terrible situation. Uh, you know, not to, not to bring the mood down or anything, but I just, it felt, you know, as somebody who covers talks about sports and talks about hockey especially it felt uh, I don't know felt pertinent to talk about and it, it, it almost felt like I would be being disingenuous if I didn't bring it up in a hockey related video of mine because obviously anybody like knows that I know about it and you know uh, stretch past there a little too late and doesn't end up hitting me, but Ooh, got, almost got the buck right there. It was close. Up here. Hofer with, or not Hofer, uh, but yeah, Hannes with a, with a terrible um, lead pass up there. Could have sprung me, but whatever. And we win the game four to three. The career of Thorbjorn Gunnison starts with a dub. So there we go. I am not going to play every single game of this career mode on camera. If I continue to record this, like if this video gets a decent response and it seems like people would want to watch more of this series, I'll probably just fast forward and play the final game of the Memorial Cup and then the draft, then my first NHL game, and then probably, you know, some other things down the line. You know, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't put everything on camera, but let's see if we get one of the three stars here. So that guy who scored while I was on the ice, he got third star. Cross Hannes gets the second star, one goal to assist, four hits. Good game from Cross Hannes. Uh, do I get first star? I don't know. Yeah, Thorburn Gunnison, one goal, one assist, nine hits. That is a lot of hits for a center. That was a great goal right there for sure. Alright. Well, that is that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see me continue this career mode, um, let me know in the comments. Uh, like the video if you liked it. And subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.